What's up, ladies and gents? My name is your host, Sinistrain01. I do walkthroughs on YouTube, Let's Plays, all that great stuff. And I'm here to reminisce about Assassin's Creed 3. So, one of my all-time favorite series in video gaming is Assassin's Creed series. Obviously, we all know that lately it's felt a little less like Assassin's Creed, right? So, for this walkthrough today, we're going to remember back when Assassin's Creed was at the top of its game. Say what you want to say about Assassin's Creed 3. A lot of people loved it, a lot of people hated it. I'm in the mixed bag where I really, really enjoyed the story and I love the new inventions of gameplay that they had. However, there was just still a little something left to be lacking. Maybe it was because this is when Assassin's Creed series started to do yearly videos, right? And that kind of repetition provides a, a little bit of uh, anxiety and kind of uh, fatigue on the series. So we're all past that. This is years later and we're kind of revisiting Assassin's Creed 3. This is the remastered edition that came out um, a bunch of years ago, but this is the PC edition. We're going to be playing this in 4K with settings all the way up to max. So everything will be on the highest it can possibly be. Also, this is going to be in HDR, even though in Assassin's Creed 3, uh, the HDR setting is off. However, Windows 11 allows an auto HDR, and I think that that actually looks better than the original HDR. So that's why I've adjusted this video to include HDR for those of you that have an HDR machine that can watch it on via your phone, tablet, or maybe your TV. So this walkthrough is going to be very, very thorough. We're going to be doing, obviously, the full game. We're going to be doing 100% synchronization, which means all of the optional challenges are going to be complete. If you want to see the side content, there will be separate videos for those side content missions that you can do in the game. However, on these main story missions here, it's all going to be each sequence done in one video with all the memories inside. I take a lot of time and effort to make these videos as good as I possibly can. So if you would do me the huge solid and leave a like, comment below what is your favorite Assassin's Creed game? As I really want to know what drives you and, and are you looking forward to the future of Assassin's Creed? I would also like to know that as well. With that being said, hopefully you all enjoy the walkthrough. I will only do commentary during the parts that I feel need to be said. If there's a specific challenge we have to complete and uh, hopefully helping you all figure out how to complete that challenge. So make sure you check out all of my Assassin's Creed walkthroughs that I have on the channel. Some of them will be listed in the top right of the video if you click the card. Others will be listed in the description. With that being said, it's go time. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. 
And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Let's go. It's gents. Let's do it. First few sections will be pretty much like a tutorial area that you can go through to learn the first memory in this sequence. Pretty self-explanatory, won't be much commentary in the beginning here. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again.
key. You must find the key. Son? Sir? Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. was back when the controls were definitely more simplified. You just have to press RT to run and pretty much does everything for you. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. So, this is what I was talking about when it comes to 100% synchronization. In order to get 100% synchronization for those that do not know, you need to achieve the optional challenges. Each mission will have different optional challenges. Sometimes you won't see any, sometimes you will. But, however, if you fail that, you can still continue on with the mission, you just won't get 100%. So every mission you see here will be perfect 100% completion. So the first thing that we actually need to do to get this optional challenge is to do one air assassination. And there you go. All you have to do here is jump the gap. So now which one is an optional objective and which one is not? When you see him up by the main objective, that is not optional. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Memory one is complete, and now we're going to be moving on to memory number two. Everything all right, sir? Yes, fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once.
Also, if you want to know exactly which memory we're doing, you can check out the chapter selection in the description or click on the video and it should show all the different chapters for the different memories. So hopefully that'll make it easier for you to kind of browse through the, the video in case you want only to see a specific memory if you need help with that. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. Since we live by them. So, Black Maul, that set word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order... A thousand pardons. So sorry. Uh, my apologies. You may satisfy that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what would come to if he did not bend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may mention a book you don't need to press any other buttons except for the thumbstick or if you're on PC controls, obviously the WASD. Haytham. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. 
Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. As long as you hold the fast walk, you will actually move people out of the way. You will need to do this throughout your walkthrough because you do not want to stumble, and you can stumble when you're running. You have to be, make sure that you're very, very careful. Can't just walk up to any, or run up to anybody and then not have something happen. As you can see, they can easily push you out of the way. If I was running in this situation, then we'd be stumbling all over. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced, we booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Sequence one, memory number two is complete. You can view your progress. This will let you know exactly how everything is set up. This is how you can go back and replay specific missions. Sometimes I'm going to be replaying missions to show you how to do it correctly as I will learn the mission first, make sure that I get it 
kind of the ins and outs so that it's nice and smooth on video and then go back and replay it and do it perfectly as to show what a true walkthrough is supposed to be. So that is the goal for the channel. So sometimes it might seem a little confusing. Um, we're going to cut out a lot of the fill filler kind of stuff, which, you know, like getting from one place to another that you don't need. This is a strictly straight to the point walkthrough guide to help you out um, for those that need it. Share might do me good. So the next memory here is going to be pretty much us traveling from one location to the other till we get to before we get to the United States. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. A moment to talk? Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. side activities that you can do, one of them being right here with the dice. We might show a video of how to play this game, however we're not going to show it here, as that can be boring for a lot of people, but if you do want to see that, please let me know in the comments below and I can do a separate video on playing the different types of games that you can play in the game. It's a beautiful day, and playing this game in HDR is just really, really beautiful. Just remember that it's going to take days, possibly even months, for some of these videos to actually appear in HDR. That is all based on YouTube's algorithm and what they want to decide. However, you still will be able to watch in very, very high quality uh, with the SDR render, kind of the tone mapping that YouTube automatically does. Captain? Mr. Kenway! I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard, and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Let's go out of my way to make sure that we check out these other conversations you can have before you continue on with the mission. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? 
It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms in troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. All side conversations are done, and then we will go ahead and move on with the main story. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. <laughs> you might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> So I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fans, call this off. If the captain sees the us... To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who side you on, anyway? We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <laughs> How do you like these odds? That is pretty easy here in the beginning. Just do exactly what the moves are telling you to do, and you should have no problem. this captain explain yourself at once mr kenway these thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport captain how about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead i wasn't aware i was paying you to loll about a word please mr kenway oh i nearly forgot there's your knife back I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work.
Notice how we've already completed the optional objective, which was to limit health loss. Essentially, all you need to do is just um, not take any damage during that initial combat section, and you should be able to achieve what the optional objective is. You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. I got nothing to say to you. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook. Or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. At this point, you can either do the cook or the doctor. Uh, you can only choose one, so whichever one you choose, that's the one. We're going to go with the cook, since it's the closest to the next objective. And they each have different dialogue, dialogue options, so choose whichever one you want. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? You must expose whatever they're plotting. Your crew is a tight-lipped bunch. But I'll see what I can do. Well, hurry up! ...again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine, whilst we're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. Hmm.
curious. Hmm. Most curious. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? This particular fight is pretty easy. You cannot counter him, so what you're gonna wanna do is actually disarm him and then get a few hits in. He'll pick it back up and you can do the same again. Otherwise, you can throw him as well and then you can get sometimes a few hits, but it just depends on where he's located. Sometimes it won't work. As you can see, we get a few hits here. And then rinse and repeat. As you can see, if you try to counter him, he will actually counter you. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny, only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. your sail for you.
the foremast! James, to the main Aye. mast with you! Aye. within a certain amount of time, which should be pretty easy to do. Hurry! I can't hold on much longer! Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. And of course, every Assassin's Creed game, or at least some of the earlier Assassin's Creed game, always had this amazing kind of intro sequence. And this is where it all comes together to show you just how wonderful and beautiful that this world, this new world, back in the 1700s was. I mean, this was a 72 day or something trip, and then you get to see this here. So beautiful. Gents, there you have it. This will be the end of the first sequence, which has a total of three missions in it. Refresher course, a deadly performance, and journey to the new world. As you can see, all optional objectives are complete. There was only for the first memory. There was none for the second memory. And there was three for the third memory. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll do my best to contain this quality throughout the entire walkthrough. If there's anything that I can do to make these videos better and stand out, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, become a member of the channel, help support the channel in any way you can. All those links are in the description. Check out all of the chapter timestamps so you guys can check out all the little things about each and every single mission in case you want to just worry about something from one particular mission. Other than that, thank you again from the bottom of my heart for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, the more likes we get, the more comments we get, obviously, the quicker and faster we'll get these videos out to all of you. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.